Welcome to the Cloud Native Microservices track. Um, today you will and tomorrow you will see something about how to make Cloud Native Microservices and what's interesting about and we want to share you some uh, insights what you're facing in the next two days. Yeah, so a quick, quick introduction. Um, we are the track co-chairs, so we've been you know, putting together the track, finding some awesome talks. Um, there was you know, almost like 100 submissions for this track. Um, we had to whittle it down to you know, 15 talks. So hopefully you'll be enjoying those. Um, my name is Alex Lay. I'm from Pivotal. I work on Cloud Foundry and Pivotal Cloud Foundry. And my name is Christian Brinker. I work at Evola and I'm also a senior software developer uh, working on and with Cloud Foundry. So what should you expect um, to learn from this track? Um, most uh, legacy code is uh, some monolithic application and which has uh, to be transformed in some way to work with uh, Cloud Foundry because um, you want to have it uh, more in a microservices way. Um, what you will hear today and tomorrow is how to achieve this by some key technologies in the uh, transformation, which patterns you can use to achieve that, and uh, like Spring Boot, Node.js, or um, Steeltoe for .NET, and uh, how that can be uh, used to transform your applications. Um, um, but also, this introduces some complexity to your uh, system, because many different applications in some microservice system are interacting with each other. It's highly distributed, and you have to observe that state. Um, to um, observe, uh, to debug it, to debug this interaction, and the talks will show you um, how you can achieve this uh, live and in production. Great. And so, why is this important to the industry as a whole? Um, you know, so we see companies being pushed by their customers to move faster, to deliver more value, and they want to do this quickly. Uh, enterprises have startups hot on their tails, trying to disrupt them. Um, and you know, enterprise IT has been plagued by these long-running software projects. They're over budget, they don't deliver the value they expected, and they take years. Um, and so we see now is the time for these companies to really transform how they develop their software. Oh. And also, kind of by doing this, we see microservices um, as one part of this solution. And so this will allow companies to change how they do how they build their software, how they scale their organization, scale their development teams, and ultimately deliver more value for their customers. And um, now we want to highlight some uh, sessions in this track we think that would show how this track is um, showing you the, the interesting parts. It are, all the other uh, tracks are also interesting, but um, they're the, the key ones we, we think about. Um, the first one is um, from Tony Irvin here from IBM. He will show um, in his uh, talk how they uh, uh, stood uh, in front of their uh, Bluemix UI, and, uh, which was a monolithic Java application, and they uh, uh, made uh, several microservices out of it with Node.js base, um, which sounds very interesting to me. Um, the next talk. Um, I want to point out is um, later this evening from Daniel Jones, um, who uh, want to show um, how you can use service-oriented design to start with a monolithic um, application, your development cycle, and then shrink it down to microservices. Um, often, if you talk about microservices, people think about, I must make uh, directly from the start my microservices, but um, starting with a monolith can uh, achieve uh, here um, uh, time, uh, a safe time, and engineering effort. Yeah, and also just on this one, I don't know who was here last year for the keynotes in Frankfurt for Cloud Foundry Summit, but Dan Jones gave an excellent keynote there. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to this talk as well. Um, so coming up, you know, toward closing the day out, we're going to be learning more about how to build resilient microservices uh, using .NET Core and Steeltoe. So Steeltoe is an awesome new framework for building uh, microservices using .NET, um, kind of inspired by the Spring Boot way of uh, developing microservices. Uh, that's going to be with uh, Zach Brown and Matthew Horan from Pivotal. Uh, and then tomorrow, we've got Colleen Bryant from Google, and she's going to be talking about live debugging with Cloud Foundry and Stackdriver. Um, and so this is really interesting because it's how you do this in production, um, and yeah, it's really like doing it live, and it's going to be a really cool talk. So definitely recommend coming to that tomorrow. 
Um, and so you can share your pictures and quotes from this track, hashtag CF Summit. Um, you can come up and talk to me and Christian. We're going to be around uh, today, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the track. We're just going to do a quick handover now. Um, so back in five.